I want to show you a couple things on this 24 volt solar generator that I just recently did but I didn't do a dedicated video so I'm just going to show you this and something that I would like to have your advice on let me show you a couple things here real quick I moved this power tray up a couple of inches it was down here now it's up here so now the power tray I can get to it much better put a sticker on too so now I can get right to the power tray here and I still have good airflow from the fan here and what I did is I put the light down here to shine through the fan and now I'll go over to this side and show you exactly what's going on down here okay you see the fan and the light through there notice right here I had some of that exterior molding and I separated the batteries inside there about a half inch or so And I put a piece of wood down there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, now I've got a little bit better airflow through there. And uh, should keep them a lot cooler. Now when I put that fan on full tilt down there, it is unbelievable how much air comes through there. So these batteries will be in really good shape. And I did have to make a couple of extensions for those batteries in there to make it fit. But this is the problem that I'm having. All right, what I want to do is make some bus bars for these battery posts. And it needs to be something like this, this little bracket piece that has a hole and then it has a couple of posts in there where I can put this thing on there and then it has posts where I can just screw those cable in onto them for both of the negative and the positive. Because right now I have got way too much stuff on one post with a wing nut and I'd like to go a lot more professional looking so let me know what you think and if they make something along these lines now I've ohmed out dead short and this is a piece of super strut over here really thick piece yeah so they conduct but I just want to know what would be the best option for this deal here.